So I'm doing a quick recording here because uh, I've lost the original audio, but this is a, a 11 minute tutorial on how to make a um, WordPress theme. So here we're showing the uh, WordPress default theme. This is for an older version of WordPress, but really the basics haven't changed. So you can go and see the uh, default theme already installed and it shows you where it actually is, is located in the themes and default directory. So here I'm using a, an old version of Transmit to uh, connect over FTP. And uh, uh, we're going to just edit this live. Uh, Transmit has a nice feature where you can just edit uh, files that are already online and it quickly syncs them back and forth. So, uh, but you could do this in a, a local computer or you could uh, you know, upload one by one, it doesn't matter. So anyway, here um, I'm making a new folder uh, and I'm going to name it uh, this new theme called uh, uh, cut paste um, and um, you know in the spirit of cutting and pasting uh, I'm going to actually uh, basically copy uh, a couple of the files from default into cut paste um, and then I'm just going to use them. What's nice about WordPress is that you don't actually need very many files you just need this thing called the loop so the loop is the core of any theme um, uh, and what it does is it, it uh, tells WordPress how to display a collection of items or a collection of posts. Uh, and it loops through each post and performs the same display functions for each one, such as displaying the title, displaying the content. So what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm building the core template. I'm taking a basic HTML template. TextMate uh, can auto-generate that, but you can just copy what I have here or copy it from another web page. Just the you know head tags, the body tags. And I pasted the loop into it. And I saved it. The other thing I'm doing is I'm making a CSS file to style the theme. Uh, WordPress requires a CSS file, and there's some important information that's stored in there. But for starters, I'm just going to, um, you know, put the basic, uh, uh, you know, some really, really minimal uh, styles into here. I made a background color. I made a body width, uh, a background of the body, so it'll be a white page on a kind of a grayish background. And uh, saving that as style.css. That is uh, quite important. So here we have index.php, which is where I put the loop in its HTML uh, wrapper, right? And uh, this is TextMate again being very convenient. You can just drag it in. But if you put that link file, it will link to the style.css uh, style sheet. I'm changing the title. Um, and so basically, we have the most minimal HTML page possible named.php with these, uh, these, these tags, this loop uh, PHP code in the middle. And so I'm uploading both of them to the new um, uh, theme. And I said earlier we're going to copy stuff over. Actually, the only thing we're going to copy over is this uh, segment on the CSS file. It's actually in the comments, which is kind of interesting. Um, so here, I'm going to go back, and I'm going to actually uh, edit the CSS file online before I had made local versions and uploaded them. But now that they're on there, I'm going to, I'm going to edit with, and that will kind of synchronously allow me to edit online. So I'm pasting this stuff in. It's got some basic information like the licensing and such. But the, the ones that WordPress actually looks for are these here. And they're going to show up actually in the, the selection dialog for which theme you want to use. So I'm going to add my own information. Um, version number will be, uh, you know, uh, we won't overpromise on the version number here. Uh, a description, maybe not necessary. And then uh, the place where I'm going to host it, uh, although I don't think it's actually hosted there anymore. But you go ahead and, and put your own URL in there. Uh, and the theme name, that's pretty important because that's what's actually going to show up when you select this theme. So we're OK. I hit Save. It, and you can see that little check mark means that it uploaded the changes. Um, and here we go. You can see that the cut paste demo theme is there. Uh, you can put a screenshot, I think it's screenshot.png, but it doesn't really matter. It doesn't make a difference. So we activated it, and it says view it, and there we go. So we have this, and I think the problem here um, is do we, do we either have no initial post or what? Let me see. Let's edit this. So it, did, it executed, and there was this content area, and there was nothing there. So it just said content. That's, that's fine. Um, so now what I'm going to do is add some very basic WordPress uh, functions. Uh, they're very obviously named, like the title. Um, so if I save that, and I go back here, and it's uploaded, you know, then it shows the title of the, the first example post, which is Hello World. Um, and then uh, 
you know, it's not even in an HTML tag, it's just plain text. And the content is another one. This is the first post. Great. There's only one post right now. So I can add a little bit of HTML around that, uh, make it a header, uh, put this in a paragraph. Uh, you know, add your, your usual HTML tags. And there you go. Um, that's uh, one post. If there were more posts, it would display more. So uh, here we go. Let's, um, I'll add like a, you know, a bottom bar so to separate out the posts. And then here, let's just write another quick post to see what two of them would look like next to each other. So I'll name it something dumb. Um, hello again. And I'll just quickly publish it. Reload, and there we go. So you notice the new posts come to the top like they should in a blog. Uh, so you can add all kinds of other things. I recommend you go to the WordPress wiki or documentation and, and read through the available tags. Um, but uh, we'll just fill this one out a little bit until it's like a really basic, um, you know, a really basic theme. This is, you realize this is an entire WordPress theme in something like 30 lines of code. Um, and it should function. I mean, all of the basic features should be there. So I'm adding something to the permalink and I made, it a, I made a, a link so that when you click on that, it takes you to the individual post. Um, and you notice that the theme works perfectly fine. It just uses the exact same theme, but it only displays one post. Um, and so we have the, the, the root, the home, and we have these individual posts. And here, I'm, I'm going to do a little styling. And then uh, up there, I'm going to add a, a header for the whole page using some HTML entity codes to get that ampersand to show up correctly. Demo blog. Okay, we reload, and there we have it. We have a title for the whole page that is outside of the loop, you notice. Uh, it's not repeated for every post, and then we have content for each post. So uh, it looks like our style sheet is actually not being loaded yet. I mean, WordPress can see it, but the browser can't see it, and that's because we used a relative path. So what you can do is use this thing called blog info, style sheet directory. Um, there may be a, a more modern way to do this and to do this in more recent WordPress uh, systems, but basically it takes you to the directory the style sheet's in. Um, so by doing that, you can see that our styles, the gray, uh, grayish background and a whitish frame and 800 pixel wide body are all showing up. So we'll just quickly add a few more uh, styles. Uh, if you miss anything while I'm doing this, feel free to just pause it and then you know you can scrub back and forth in here. So we added a nice new font uh, with a couple backup fonts in case you know the browser doesn't have that. And here we're going to add some margins, make it look kind of pretty. Oops, I guess I. Well, the margins are working. You know, add some padding. Okay, that's a little bit more civilized. Margins being on the outside, padding on the inside. Let's see what, what else we can do here. Um, I'm going to open up the default theme and take a look at the different things we have. So you can actually take that entire header and put it into a separate document called header. Um, so you can use the get header function. It will go try to find a file called header.php. Um, so I'll, I'll actually make one. We'll make our theme a little bit more complex. So I'm going to copy our original index.php. I'm just lazy. I don't want to make a new file here. So um, name it header.php. I'm going to uh, let's see. I'm going to edit it. Well, I, no, actually, I'm going to just upload it first, and then I'll edit it online. There we go. So uh, I'm going to delete the loop because we don't want to repeat the loop in the header. This is just the header for the page. So we can just literally have like a couple lines here, um, which is stuff that we want to show up on every page. The, I, this is not really that useful in such a simple theme, but as your themes become more complex, it's nice to know that you can break things out into sub-files. So you don't have to view this enormous file and kind of uh, sift through it every time you want to make a change. Um, so we're going to make a, a little bit more description here. And there are other ones. I think there's uh, uh, get footer, uh, and there's um, there's other ones as well. So you can use these to break your theme up into smaller files. You can see this is working pretty well, both on the individual post pages and the main page. So um, we'll add uh, this here. 
and I'm using the blog info function again, but this time I'm using the keyword home. So what it's going to do is, even if you change, you know, uh, if you put your entire blog in a sub directory or uh, sub, you know, other domains, basically this allows it to be portable. You could just put a slash, but uh, that would imply that your blog lives at the root of the server, which it doesn't necessarily. Whereas this is going to take you home no matter what, because um, WordPress is kind of aware of that. Um, so there you go. This is a, these, are, these are a bunch of different um, you know, ways to build out a simple theme. And you could really take this theme quite far just with styling uh, and with a few more, you know, a few more small tags here. Oh yeah, so the author, of course, also in useful information. We'll put that below the post and uh, probably the date or the time, I guess. I think the date may also work. Yeah, there you go. So then you can see, you know, a little bit about each post. I think my username is demo. So there you go. That's about it. And um, thanks. And uh,